Hi guys, George Glinski here from Toe the Line, joined today by Jimmy, the Celtic Warrior. Sweeney, how are you doing, my man? I'm good, man. You? Yeah, perfect, buddy. Obviously, we're living in quite uncertain times at the moment. The pandemic uh, is, well, taking its hold on everyone. What are you doing for training at the moment during these times? Fuck all, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? You, you, usually, uh, usually when I when I'm like not fighting and no camps and all that, I just I basically just get pissed the whole time and mm. eat shit and just get fat as fuck. But um, I don't know, it's a great thing the pubs are fucking closed because I can't go. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 down here. We just got a, just got a new house. Got a new house here with the woman. So just moved into the new house. A massive garden, so I'm fucking. I'm not running every day. Um, I got two. I live, let me say, a lot of farmers. I put up a post looking for a tire, a tractor tire, to drop two of them down to me. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I'm out in that every day. Yeah, I'm, I'm training six days a week to be honest. Um, here and, and you know, I'm, I'm just trying, I'm trying to, to keep in some kind of shape, not get too heavy, but I want to be. Uh, I want to be for, for the, the next show's on, uh, I want to be. Because I'm fighting Tyler at 73, like that. So I want to be close enough. I want to be like, if, if I come into that camp at about 78, uh, I'll be But I want to come into the camp actually fit for one, so I can, mm. I can really um, focus on, on on my box and my sparring pads and stuff like that. And instead of coming in, I just focus on on weight loss and kill myself losing weight. So yeah, I'm I'm surprisingly even the girlfriend said at the gym the other day she goes what what's wrong with this? Is that he hasn't been drinking at all? So he's even she's shocked about it. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm trying to keep keep myself busy. Where's the weight at right now? Has it fluctuated at all? Yeah, I probably I'm, I'm about 80, 81 kilos right now to be to be honest. Probably a bit, a bit heavier, but uh, I'm not I'm not a I'm not killing myself. I mean, I, I I did have a couple of Easter eggs and all the barbecues and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, um, I think I think we I think this fucking lockdown is some people was another three or four weeks. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start next week. Just just get strict on the diet again and and just trying to get the the weight down. So about 80, 81 kilos right right now, which is very which is not bad for 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 me usually because at this stage out from a uh, uh, after a fight, uh, I'd be up at ninety kilos. So, mm. and I did, I did actually see you reject um, some gummy worms, some gummy snakes. Sorry, yeah, um, from yeah, Sammy Cheeser. Fuck me, that, that was the hardest thing ever. <laughs> I was, I was, thinking, I had, I had nightmares about it that night. I couldn't sleep, man. I woke up with cold shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm the worst person for sweets, man. I, I, I love like jelly snakes and and. Uh, Harry balls and stuff like that. So, oh, oh fuck it. It's 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 a little fucking sacrifice and and just because fucking them things about three kilos of sweets in that. It's like with the big massive bag, and I will eat a lot of them. You know what I mean? About a week or a lot of them. So I said, fuck it. Uh, those are the sacrifices that a, a BKB yeah, world champion has to make. And uh, obviously, this is well, this is a really difficult time. It's something we haven't really spoken about in terms of the ideology of fighters. How difficult is it to have a fight in the future, but you're not mm. really sure it's, when it's going to be. Yeah, it's horrible to be honest. The whole thing with the last time was, was horrible because I think like, um, I think we're like what were we, three weeks out from mm. from the school last time or something like that, and, and in in that three weeks you're nearly on weight and and everything is going good and you're you're confident and, and then all of a sudden then it's boom, there's nothing happening, so you get fucking depressed as fuck. Mm. Even now it's just kind of like. I don't know because you're. It's hard to get motivated. Isn't it? I don't think there's any other fighter well, except for fucking Paul Hills because he never fucking stops training. <laughs> Man's a machine, isn't he? and he's not fucking fighting until the show after we come on. Oh, no. So God knows who that is. <laughs> and then come to, he could be training until next year before he fights. <laughs> so fair play, fair play to Paul Hills. But yeah, it's it's hard, it's hard to get motivated like in. Because you don't know, there's certain people that are, like you do a week's training, but you're training, but you don't know you, you don't know when the fight is. So, because then you don't want to train too hard, but then you don't want to go fucking. He's, he's not out. So you fucking you want to be in some kind of shape, but you don't want to burn yourself out either. Either, and and when there's no certainty about it, it's it's hard to get motivated. Mm, 
There it is. And uh, postponement. There was there was a little bit of confusion I've seen online at the moment um, relating to, I'm going to I think it was a Tyler Goodjohn post saying that it was cancelled. And you obviously yeah. came into the comment section and said it was postponed. Yeah. And I think there was yeah. a little bit of confusion. So if you can sort of clear up to yeah. everyone that the fight yeah. is happening. Yeah. No, no. I spoke to Jim. I spoke to Joe. Um, as far as I know, and, and as well as this is what's happening, the the car was what, what BKB one twenty one or something, is it? Twenty one, yeah. Twenty one, right? So the the full car for BKB twenty one was already announced. So that car has just been pushed back to whenever this new date is is on. There's no fights changed. There's no fights cancelled. It's the exact same car, but it's obviously it's back to the to later date. Mm-hmm. So. As far as everyone should be concerned, that fight with Tyler is still going on for the Bantamweight Championship. I know he said it's cancelled and he's been talking a lot about uh, Jason Knight fighting on that, but look, this fight is happening. This is the fight that people want to see. This fight's happening. On my behalf, I want this fight. I'm going to make this fight fight happen because um, I've trained for this fight. This is the fight I want. If he doesn't want that fight, um, fair off to him, but, but you come out and say, look, I don't want that fight. I want to fight someone else. But to me, that fight is happening, and I spoke to Jim, spoke to Joe. The card is still the same. It's just pushed back. There's no changes of it. I don't know what this whole cancel thing is about. No, strange. And um, yeah. people that are coming across BKB for the first time, perhaps even this video for the first time, why is Jimmy Sweeney versus Tyler Goodjohn the biggest fight in BKB history? Uh, okay, you, have, you have the greatest of all time. And then, and then, like you have uh, the, the up and coming lad. So, uh, especially at, at when Tyler when Tyler came on show, like he's, he's a great fighter, great head move, great skill, and he's been always held as, as the one to take over for me. But, um, and and people have been talking about this fight since 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 he's, he's he started. So like a year and a half or whatever it was, and uh, the the media attention is getting. Uh, the fans interaction with it it's just a massive fight it's a massive fight for the sport and and, and it's the it's the biggest fight it's the biggest fight out there and it's the biggest fight out there for Tyler to be honest because I'm, I'm the biggest name in this in, in this sport mm-hmm. you know what I mean I've, I've done it all so so that's the fight he should be more con- he should be concentrating more on that fight than this Jason Knight now, no disrespect to Jason Knight but he's absolutely good for fucking nothing yeah he is shit <laughs> to me, that, to me, to me, that's that's a profile reason fight. Mm. It's, that's not a, a man's fight. That's not a big B man's fight of testers have against the best. That's just someone you know that's going to batter. Mm. But it's just going to build your profile. That's what that is. It's this. St- stick to the fight that's ahead. If you want to be the best, come face the best. I am the best. So that's the fight that's 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 happening. Don't mind the uh, fucking that uh, Jason Knight for these fucking shit. That's, as I say, that's a very fair point there. Um, your prediction for that fight? Yeah, well, me, me winning. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, I said it. I said it. I said it to Tyler face to face. I have the same prediction: uh, either knockout or, or uh, stoppage on cuts. Because uh, I, I do think he cuts easy. Um, well, he, he told me himself he cuts easy, and when he's done fucking uh, club boxing, and, and when I get that jab off and, and go on when I'm sharp, I think it's just going to cut his face. Mm. Obviously, you, you speak there about up and coming fighters. Is there anyone in BKB for you at the moment that you see as a, a future legend of the sport? There's, there's, there's a, obviously a few good lads. Few good lads. But talent wise, the one that sticks out most, one, most would be uh, young Dan Chapman. Mm. Um, very, very good lad. Uh, definitely a future champion. Uh, Box, box, Canelli. I just, just shows that even I think he's been on uh, world champion uh, in, in internationals. He's, he's. Uh, I think he had. Um, I mean, could have a great career as, as a pro as well. But I think he got a motorbike accident or something and uh, stopped that. But he's, he's come back and and he's looked very, very good. So definitely, definitely, Dan Chapman has the the skill and talent to be a uh, very, very good world class in the BKB. Yeah. And uh, bizarre moments. We're uh, we're doing a list at the moment. We just spoke there. I was asking if you had any yourself. I understand your yeah. girlfriend Anna has a has a very interesting uh, story. Yeah, in she, BKB. She, she, she punched what's going on. She punched uh, Johnny in the after our first fight because <laughs> he got he got he got her in her face trying to give her a bill, so she 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 punched him. <laughs> <laughs> There's no footage on this, is there? 
<laughs> well, she 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 gave me a better shot than what I give him for the whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it's um, a much I think I won, I won a big Jamie Gelder without even punched him. And uh, if, you, if you look at that fight, so that's another big uh, I suppose, uh, oh. when he dived, it was a bizarre dive. But, but I hit him when he was going down and broke and, and left his two out. So it's just what, what, it was, what was his, his name again, Jamie? Jamie Gelder, Jamie Gelder, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. He was the next pro. He come in and, and um, supposed to be supposed to go and give me a tough fight. So I threw a jab at him. Didn't even hit him, and he was going down. So when he was going down, I threw a punch. I missed him with the hook, and I hit him with my arm. I knocked these two around. <laughs> I was like, "That fucking hell! Where did he get these fellas out of?" And and another thing, um, I had a conversation with uh, Paul Hillsbutts on an interview. He was talking about how you know how impressive it was uh, the the two nights, the two fights in one night. But what a lot of people don't know is on your debut, you actually had two fights in one night as well at Latimer Park. Uh, yeah, well, don't, to be honest, one much of fights, only like uh, two 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 punches, uh, two two punches. I think the total mass at a combined time of thirty seconds. Yeah, like but that. <laughs> That's just knockouts, but uh, like what the boys did, what what the boys did in in their with the prize fighter two one night, that's 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 special what they did because they had war fights and and tough fights and all that. I just went in and just beat up two fucking Tom Lacks basically two. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but what they did, so yeah, two two fights one night. But uh, I'm the first person to do it. Yeah, I'm I'm interested about prize fighters. I'm not exactly sure where where you would stand on perhaps doing a prize fighter does that elevate your legacy at all nah nah fuck i couldn't beat him fair play to the boys doing the prize fighters on that but to, to be honest i'm I, I i think i'm i'm not not trying to be big headed on that but i'm, I'm past that you know you know what i mean me me coming down to prize fighter and what am i going to do come on the prize fighter to, 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 to win that to fight for a title that I, that I could just walk in and just fucking fight for anyway mm. you know what i mean I'm, I'm, plus, I get fucking more money than fucking all the <laughs> one like. So, if I go into the prize fighter, I, I have to like, I have to drop my, my, my wages and I forget what they get. And uh, fuck that, I've done that. I've been there. I got paid fuck all, and I'm, I'm enjoying my, I'm enjoying what I get paid now. So, yeah, that ruins me on a prize fighter. <laughs> 100%. Well, Jimmy, it's always an entertaining uh, interview of you, and it's always been a pleasure. But I have to ask, just before you go, who have we got to thank yeah. for this fight? For, for, for the fight? Mm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tyler's woman's a thing for this fight. Let's <laughs> uh, uh, smash him. Uh, but look, it was a fight. Look, there's no, no hard feelings between, between me and Tyler and the woman. You know, you know what I mean? I, uh, I'm a good, for, good friend with Tyler and a lot, a lot of respect for the kid. But it's, a, it's just, look, it's a, it's a fight that's, that's going to happen. And uh, it is definitely going to happen. It's, that's, that's the next fight for Tyler. There's no... That's, that's, that's the fight for a bantamite title. Then after I get that bantamite title, then I come back and, and, and beat Franco for my other title. And then that's me happy with that. But yeah, that, that fight is is happening now. I've already got confirmation that I've been speaking to Jim, speaking to Joe. That's the fight that's that's happening for the for the next orders. Unless Tyler Cologne says, "Look, I'm not I'm not fighting. I'm not fight." As it is, that fight is happening. Perfect. Well, we look forward to it, Jimmy, and uh, thank you for your time. I, I look forward to trying to kill myself, losing weight again. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Jeez, <mate. laughs> right, so thank you. Where are you?